what we are testing in this study is an integrated crop management approach to producing organic strawberries. We're looking at a whole system beginning with off-season crop, cover crop management and then looking at rotating into organic strawberries by focusing on what might be the best cultivars for using in organic strawberry production. And while we're doing that, also examining what are the key pests and how to manage those most um, environmentally friendly. In conventional uh, strawberries, they have the benefit of um, soil fumigants, which allow them to manage soil-borne pests like sting nematode, but the organic grower does not have that option. We have selected four different cover crops, sun hemp, hairy indigo, short flower rattlebox, and American joint vetch, which have the benefit of if you uh, utilize appropriate cropping densities, you can suppress or totally inhibit, in some cases, weed growth, as well as suppress things like sting nematode, which is a key nematode pest of strawberry. Cover crops suppress weeds in a number of ways. Uh, the, the main way that we're focusing on is on really having a rapid production of foliage so that the crop canopy closes rapidly and so that it eliminates the germination cues and the opportunities for weeds to establish uh, under that cover crop canopy. So we really regard sun hemp as our standard. We were really comparing these three new options to see how well they did against sun hemp. In both the on-farm location as well as the on-station location, we saw that sun hemp was both the tallest cover crop and produced the greatest amount of biomass. So the clear winner in terms of plant height and biomass was sun hemp. All of these cover crops do go to seed. In most cases, because they're legumes, we will advise the grower to terminate the cover crop at somewhere at between the beginning of flowering to where 50% of the plants are flowering. And you want to do that because you want to also obtain the maximum benefit in terms of nitrogen. And that's the point in time in which you'll have the highest amount of nitrogen to com contribute to the strawberries. When a grower is investing in a cover crop, because it's a crop that you don't typically harvest to uh, earn money, you want to try to maximize the amount of ecological services that you can gain. If we can put in a species that will either suppress or reduce the ability of the sting nematode to reproduce, then it's a win-win situation. So we achieve both weed management as well as sting nematode suppression.